hello guys welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing well so let's quickly see what's going on with bitcoin because at the moment uh we keep coming down and uh kind of like uh, a good thing because i think it needs to go and settle down and find a good support level in order to form the next rally towards the upside i mean how many how much time that can take it all depends but let's quickly see at the moment with the chartings what it's doing okay so if you look at this pattern you can see this green box over here i was pretty sure that bitcoin might come and you know touch it or even come inside it okay and you can also see this support line that is drawn at the bottom it's uh, kind of like you know this supports us at the 22 to 23 3000 levels okay i wouldn't be shocked if bitcoin does come over there because if you look at this uh pattern over here uh, we did have this you know the support uh bear flag that was formed here and you can see clearly there's a pole and bitcoin if you take it it's trying to get there and this target has been met but i want to show you something very different that bitcoin might do okay now it has met the target over here but if you take out the log graph and you look at this graph over here right now uh there's a different story that this graph is telling you okay so if you take this off now okay so if it does go and you know get in this green box you have to measure it from here so if you just measure this like that and you know you can see that it might go a little bit below and that then it's going to meet the target it necessarily doesn't have to meet the target but that is what the target is this target is sitting at about 17 to 18 thousand and you can see this is where this previous uh, previous high a uh, previous high is over here okay so probably gonna come and touch it and it's, it necessarily doesn't have to like i'm saying but i'm showing you where these targets can get to okay now if you don't want to make sure what's going to happen you can always go and go in the weekly uh, daily time frame and look at this uh over here okay sorry let's go to the weekly bring back the log graph and you can see this support over here okay it might come in handy and if we do find a support level here then that's going to be great but if we don't then like i have told you in the previous uh videos you can see the measurement over here bitcoin always comes in the log graph okay in between the 1.414 level and 1.618 level in between the 21200 and 24600 level it has the capability to do that because it has done this previously i'll quickly show you just to you know confirm my claim over here so here exactly you know came in between 1.618 1.414 right over here okay uh, and the bottom was found and then we rallied towards the upside even this corona dump over here okay 1.618 1.414 and then uh I rallied towards the upside even if you go a little bit behind and you right over here again okay 1.618 1.414 so i hope uh, this makes sense if we do come down this green box is basically the 1.618 1.414 and this is where this uh, support line is also sitting at okay not only that if you bring your emas in the monthly time frame you can see the 100 moving average is coming in at the moment we did find support at the 50 moving average if this becomes the support then that is great because we did come and touch the 1.414 uh, at the top of the box not completely but we came and touched the uh, 50 moving average okay now we do have this 100 moving average but if you go in the weekly time frame and you just bring your 200 moving average you can see over here we did uh, touch it and we went a little bit below in the previous uh, runs we did come a little bit lower and uh, this lower might come to that level it doesn't have to again if it does then you know what's going on it's actually abiding by the previous rules or uh, you know history uh, what bitcoin did okay now if you go in the lower time frames and the daily time frames and you, uh, even lower time frames you can see this pattern that it's forming uh, it was forming this uh, you know this it had this support level okay and uh, it had it was kind of making this 
rising or wedge um, or bull a bear flag whatever this might be it has uh, it's basically this area is basically a competition between the bulls and the bears so that's what it's doing that's why it's making a lot of multiple patterns see we have one of these patterns that it broke out went towards the downside okay now let's say if this is the accurate pattern you can go in the one hourly time frame and you can see that uh, at the moment we have uh, in the lower lower time frame 30 minute time frame we have this pattern that is making it's a bullish pattern uh, kind of like a head and shoulder bullish one okay see okay and uh, this can be the uh, right over here this can be the support this is the uh, this is the left shoulder this is uh, in making it's uh, kind of making a right shoulder and uh, sorry this is the head okay so if it breaks this uh, resistance line it's uh, for short term okay we have this uh, price target right over here we can actually break it and go again towards the 29 close to 30,000 uh, dollar levels okay but again it doesn't defeat the purpose that it's gonna have this complete bull run because um, it's just a short term target and even if you go in the uh, a little bit higher time frames you can you know, bring your EMAs the three hourly you can see it's gonna go and hit the the 50 moving average and then get rejected because if you go in the four hourly now you have to break this 50 moving average in the four hourly time frame okay I hope I'm not uh, just you know rushing things over because every time frame has its own little way of uh, um, you know speaking and saying things so you can see this uh, 50 moving average we are slowly trying to compete with these moving averages okay so you can see rejection by the 20 finally broke it over here came back finally broke it over here finally broke the 20 okay so what is happening here accumulation is taking place that's why we broke the 20 moving average okay now second um, now we are fighting against the 50 moving average 50 50 again we're gonna come and touch the 50 if we get rejected we are gonna come down okay and then I would suggest you look for uh, bullish divergences in the RSI once we break this obviously we're gonna go and battle this hundred moving average okay so it's step-by-step -step formation it's gonna take some time I'm not expecting Bitcoin to just rally towards the upside in a second well it might do that if there's uh, the market just turns out to be you know some good news comes out or something it might just you know go up when, once that happened then that's a sign yeah bulls are in control because it has that uh, you know if you take this you place it here you can now take this off okay take this off now this is the resistance you are kind of making like this kind of pattern as well okay so this is the resistance so once you break this resistance you can see we don't have much this was a free free fall okay so once we break this and let's say we end up making this pattern okay you can see how long this pattern can be kind of like an ascending triangle symmetrical triangle also you could call this but if you are making uh, let's take this off if you are making these higher low formations that's a good thing because if you do end up making something like this uh, but you know again this can be considered as a symmetrical triangle as well okay so it's it's not this pattern is not strong enough in my viewpoint okay and wherever the breakout is usually wherever the it's like a continuation pattern okay but i would just just to be a little bit uh, you know easy on this pattern i would say wherever the breakout might be okay whenever there's a breakout with this pattern it could be towards the upside okay upside then obviously we're going to come close to the 35 36 thousand if it's the downside finish this pattern right okay you can see if it does break here we may, will come to the 26 thousands again okay but it's kind of playing in this pattern formation now if you take this off okay you can also see a little bit of a bearish cup forming okay look right over here okay so this is the bearish cup now uh, again it's uh, towards the downside which this is the 
Uh, if it does break towards the downside and this is the support at the moment, you know, right over here. Okay, for the downside, 26,000. Okay, so a lot of patterns are being formed because there is a little bit of a challenge going on amongst the bulls and the bears. So, but I think this is the most accurate one what I feel at the moment. Okay. Before we had this pattern within it, right over here, a rising, this rising uh, channel, broke towards the downside, found support here. So I think it's going to accordingly play within this pattern. Now, if you, you know, analyze this thing a little bit in a deeper way, uh, if you go in the weekly and you look at these patterns, what they did, okay, bring your EMAs. Uh, let's hide some EMAs because I think the most important ones, I want to just show it to you. Uh, uh, okay, right over here, yeah. So uh, there's a uh, there's a I mean there's a similarity w between all these uh, dumps over here. Okay, I'll just point that out really quickly. So the time that you will understand when the next bull market or maybe the upside is coming uh, here, I'll show it to you. If you look at this pattern, okay, this dump that happened here. Okay, you can see we had this area of resistance, okay? And you can clearly see when we came down, one, two, three, triple bottom formed, okay? Once this triple bottom was formed, we broke this resistance, went to the upside, and never looked back, okay? And again, go in your uh, RSI. When you formed this triple bottom, you also made a beautiful in the weekly time frame okay a bullish divergence so this was the perfect indication that a bull market is going to start and upside is coming and you can see not only that there was another indication i will show it to you uh, let's take this off so you can see it better okay look see you had this cross went towards the downside price came down okay you also broke the 100 moving average okay once the 20 moving average crossed the 100 moving average you came towards the downside same way once the 20 moving average bullish divergence broke the resistance 20 moving average crossed the 50 and the 100 moving average and that's when the bull market started okay now there's another example i can show you right over here okay you can see same thing happened here same thing okay 20 cross 20 cross the 100 came all the way down found support here 20 cross the 100 and the 50 moving average okay and a u-shape kind of formation was formed here and again this thing over here we had this beautiful ascending triangle formation okay we broke it a bullish pattern this is a bullish pattern we broke it went towards the upside and then we never looked back so obviously you can also judge the distance of the breakout and you can see we came exactly met it hit the 100 hitting the 100 and the 50 we broke the 20 in the weekly time frame and then went up and uh, had a good journey towards the upside now this dump over here okay corona dump you can see what happened here the 20 crossed the 50 it never crossed the 100 moving average okay so this was a um, I would say a quick v-shape recovery so you know now that whenever the 20 crosses the 100 and the 50 this is when the bull market starts again now you can see over here and this is where the accumulation took place this is where the accumulation took place so you need to look for bullish patterns and bullish divergences that will be formed when this next uh, rally will start okay now if you go over here again you can see 20 cross the 50 okay the yellow line cross the uh, green line it is coming to cross the uh, 100 moving if it doesn't cross then obviously we are going to start moving up okay and then a rally will start but if it does cross obviously then you will go in this kind of pattern formation that it, it will form whenever it will form okay this pattern formation okay let me just zoom out so you could see a little bit better 
and also uh, here okay so you can see one two three this is the fourth one okay a lot of people have been waiting for this um, uh, you know uh, for Bitcoin to come to these areas because it is a repetitive pattern formation that it forms moving averages goes to one place uh, and then crosses and all that okay so yeah this is pretty much it i just wanted to point this out but uh, in the lower time frame at the moment you are in a very um, mixed uh, feeling right now okay so this is the pattern it's in this is the pattern it's in so if it does uh if it if ever the breakout is that's where it's going to go but this is for the short term but if you really want to get in for the long term you really have to look for you know it is going to take some time it you know crossing these crossing make a pattern here then obviously again the cross and then when whenever it gets above the 20 moving average and 20 moving average crosses the 50 and the 100 boom upside is coming okay all right guys this is it i hope this uh brought you some new information and if you're liking my content kindly share my videos uh, in your pages or facebook pages and um, you know instagram uh, whatever it might be twitter okay and like my channel and thank you so much and have a good day bye bye